So to give you a bit of background, originally I was planning on making a video regarding the Sony ZV-E1's overheating. You know, this camera came out about two months ago and it was probably one of the most anticipated cameras of 2023 from Sony, but a lot of people ended up not buying the camera because of some reports of overheating issues while shooting 4K videos, including myself. And I was going to buy this camera to use as my main video camera for my YouTube videos. But then, you know, if the camera overheats after 30 or 40 minutes of shooting videos, then it wasn't going to be very useful. So I just decided that it wasn't probably worth it. But after doing some digging, I learned that the overheating really just happens in higher temperatures, especially outdoors. So for someone like me who shoots videos in an air conditioned room, it's probably not an issue. So I decided I should test this myself. So I bought myself a black Sony ZV-E1. And as soon as I got the camera, I charged up the battery and I installed the latest firmware and started shooting some 4K videos. And guess what? It didn't overheat. Well, the camera basically just kept going for a little over two hours until eventually the battery died. And that was obviously a bit of a surprise because I was expecting to get maybe you know, 50 minutes or up to an hour if I'm lucky. So that was in this room when the ambient temperature in here was around 75 or 76 degrees. And since I usually keep this room cooler than that while we're shooting my videos, I knew that overheating wasn't going to be an issue for me. So I was very happy about that. But then I decided to take this further to see how long this camera would last in a much worse conditions, say, I would into the direct sunlight on a 90 plus degree weather. But then I had this random thought. Sony also makes the white version of the ZV-E1 and some of their entry level video cameras. Do white cameras overheat less than black cameras in the direct sunlight? I mean, we all know the science behind it because white reflects more light and black absorbs more light. So based on that simple knowledge alone, would the colors of the cameras make the difference in their performances? And what better way to find out other than testing it myself? So I bought myself a white ZV-E1. And apart from the colors, because technically no two cameras can be exactly the same, before testing them outside, I tested them in my office. And again, no overheating. Both cameras kept going until their batteries died. And the next day, after charging up the batteries and completely cooling them down, I finally took them outside at noon in the direct sunlight, and the weather app on my watch showed 91 degrees Fahrenheit. I made sure all the settings were exactly the same between the two cameras, and I set the temperature settings to high, and I pressed the record button on the cameras. And because I was already sweating after being outside for two minutes, I just left the cameras outside and came back in. And at that exact moment, I was honestly thinking, you know, maybe this is a big waste of time. You know, it's so hot outside, they will probably perform the same. And both of them will probably stop recording after like 10 or 15 minutes. But to my surprise, when I went back out there after about 10 or 15 minutes, both cameras were still going. But what really shocked me was the surface temperature of the cameras. The black ZV-E1 was constantly measured at about 10 to 20 degrees hotter than the white ZV-E1, sometimes even up to 30 degrees hotter in some places. I had no idea that the difference would be this dramatic. And, but nevertheless, both cameras kept going. And at about 18 minutes in, the black ZV-1 got the temperature warning icon pop up. And eventually, after about 22 minutes, the black ZV-1 shut down. And still, nothing happening on the white ZV-1. But I had to take the black camera inside just so I don't ruin my new $2,200 camera. And after about 8 more minutes, the white ZV-1 finally shut down at 30 minutes and 4 seconds. So that basically proved my theory that white cameras overheat less than black cameras in the direct sunlight. 
I mean, it was just a difference of eight minutes, but that was almost 50% more than the black camera's total recording time. And what's even crazier is that the white ZV-1's maximum temperature was nowhere near the black ZV-1's maximum temperature at shutdown, and that was even after being in the sun for eight more minutes than the black ZV-1. So it might be reasonable to assume that although the difference might be just maybe 50% more recording time today, but after doing this 20, 30 more times, uh, it might also have an impact on the camera's overall longevity as well. So although this was somewhat predictable, I was very excited to see such a clear difference between the two. And to my knowledge, I don't think anybody else has ever tested this. And I'm gonna be returning one of these cameras. So based on my findings, am I gonna keep the white CV one? Well, no, just because I like the black one more. I've never really been a fan of white cameras. And like I said, I don't shoot a lot of videos outdoors and the black one performs just fine for what I need. However, if you actually do record a lot of videos outdoors or if you just like the white version, now there's a real logical reason to buy the white version instead of the black one, not just for the aesthetics. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I hope this is helpful. And if you have any more questions about this, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to them all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.